Hello and welcome on Ticking Watch. It's time to finish the service of DG3804 with GMT. The movement is ready, it's ticking since few days, that's a good sign, but we still have some work to do. In this video you will see setting the dial, hands, then the movement goes into the watch case and of course I will test the finish watch on a time grapher and compare the results with other watch which is Swiss made so stay tuned. Ok let's start with the work before I fit the day I have to put in place this brass spring it goes over the GMT wheel I mentioned in one of my previous video that the painting on the day to day isn't the most resistance and here we can see it. Ok, let's fit the spring. Spring is in, just short cleaning and what to do when we have some drop of oil like here, we have to clean it and I do this mostly with a paper with a receipt from the shop this is one method or just use Rodico I think it's the best way to clean this surface okay when we have the surface clean it came time to fit the dale. We just lose the screws where we where goes the fit of the dale. Adjustment, short adjustment. And when we are sure that the dale fits with the movement, we can tighten the screws that holding the fit of the day. Okay, let's tighten the screws. First one. And of course the second one. Okay, the screw are tightened. Let's check is if everything is working. And of course now we have to fit the hands. And because we have here date, we have to so adjust the date that it springs exactly at 12 o'clock. So I've done it and now I can set the hands. We have first comes this GMT hand. We have to be careful here because index here of the hours are over a little bit over the dial, so this GMT hand cannot touch them because this will have influence to the time. And now the hour hand. short adjustment there is of course of course always some play on the wheels so don't be surprised here and now the minute hand this shouldn't be very difficult okay the minute hand is okay here one thing that we have to pay attention is that these hands don't hack to each other because so the watch wouldn't will not work okay let's clean it with rodico some dust and now let's check if everything is working like it should. Ok, 
okay. I think everything looks okay. Some moment of the video, of course, I will speed up because normally it takes much more time to do this. But in this video, it will be almost 20 minutes and I have some interesting things to show you. Okay, I think the hands are okay and the date changes exactly at 12 o'clock. And also adjustment of the GMT is okay. Now we can set the second hand. Remember here on the other side of this sweep second pinion is a friction spring. One of my previous video I mentioned I don't like this solution. But here it is so it's a yeah it's a solution that saves costs in the production. Okay. Little bit winding and the watch is running. So far so good. Let's put now the movement into the watch case. I use a piece of paper, just turn around and the movement is in the case. Now this ring. Unfortunately this ring is a little bit too small. It could be a little bit thicker because here the whole movement is moving in the watch case and it shouldn't be like that. Let's fit the winding steam and before we fit the winding steam into the movement we have to make lubrication of the surface where the parts are moving. Like you can see it's not so easy as it should be. The biggest problem here is that the movement isn't really a mobile or just fixed through the ring here inside the watch case. It shouldn't move but here it is a problem. I just... I was trying I'm trying with the screwdriver or with tweezers to hold the movement but in fact I needed several minutes to fit the winding steam. Now the mounting plates that should be rather easy but here I also have a feeling that these mounting plates are a little bit too short and a little bit too thin. But it is possible to fix the movement. Let's do this. Now the first mounting plate. Okay. And now the second mounting plate. As you see here, these mounting plates are not opposite themselves, so they don't really hold the movement inside the watch case. There should be the third one and as I could remember, Miyota movement have also a third mounting plate, but here it is missing, there is no even a place to make one, so I think it is another thing that saves costs, production costs. Okay, the mounting plates are there. The movement is more or less fixed into the case or fixed with the case. The time is easy to adjust. There is no problems. The date is jumping at 12 o'clock and of course the GMT hand you can adjust, that's, that's no problem. And now the rotor that winds the main spring 
Here it is a one directional rotor so it winds the main spring only when, when it rotates in one direction. Ok, one screw and it's ok, but although it is one directional rotor it winds the mainspring properly, so... It doesn't have any influence to the winding the mainspring, though that's not the problem. And now the case pack. I screw it only with the fingers and we'll check the watch. And when I will be sure that the watch is running correctly, I will use equipment to really tighten the case pack. Okay, and it came time to fix the bracelet to the watch case or with the watch case. That's rather easy task. With the spring bars we have to be only sure that they really hold. With the watch case. Okay, this one is okay. Now the second one, the easiest way is just to split the bracelet, that's easy, because here we have screw links. And the second part, the second part of the bracelet. solution everyone can shorten them at home you don't need special equipment only a small screwdriver here I think two millimeter will do this job okay the watch is finished and of course after five days I was wearing the watch and now the final test on the time grapher And we will check how the watch, the movement inside actually performs. And here I see it is much better than it was before. Okay, it's gaining 30, almost 30 seconds a day with the day up. But I think with this very not expensive watch it is pretty okay. I didn't make any adjustment. So all adjustment on the balance wheel are original from the factory or, or as I received the watch. So I didn't change anything. Here on the side we have almost zero. Okay, the bit error is bigger, but I don't know how big is the lift angle. It's acceptable, I think. Could be better, of course. The bit error is here too high. With the daily down it's okay, the bit error is better. It's gaining only 9 seconds a day, but there is some strange snake diagram. Okay. Here suddenly the diagram change, the results change a little bit. I think it is because some wheels had quite big or rather have quite big play in the movement. Therefore, these results were changing so rapidly. 
ok and in this position is pretty ok about 0 seconds a day ok the bit error could be better maybe we can do some adjustment and so we can get better results ok but let's compare this watch with a different one and here I have 11 years old boat in 2008 a Swiss made that's the inscription on the watch with pretty common movement I won't tell you what brand it is because I don't want to make here any advertisement but let's compare this performance of this watch with the homage Chinese homage wristwatch with GMT movement with the DG38 GMT movement and as we see this watch performs really good and during this 11 years it was only once uh, serviced and I made the service exactly like you saw it in this video and also in my other videos so nothing special done totally by amateur not very professional and as you can see this watch performs really great it's almost and it's almost zero a day zero seconds a day so i think that's great and the difference between the highest and the lowest results is about four seconds a day and in the chinese homage in, with dg3804 it was almost 40 seconds a day so 10 times worse. Okay, so that's it from my side. I hope you like this video. When yes, please make the thumb up. I invite you to subscribe my channel if you like the content, talking about watches and watch service. If you know someone who also likes watches, please share my video, this video or other videos. I hope to see you again here. Thank you for watching. All the best. Bye bye.